this guy shoots my guy, I'm gonna be so mad about it. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today's an update day. It's patch 0 0.9.0. .0. Now, it's gonna be introducing something we've been waiting for for a very long time. Check this out. When we go to Sandbox, these are all the main maps, but now we have this really nice UI to use. And then we have 21 new simulation maps including the original one, but now we have like all these advanced buildings. So the custom battle suggestions that you guys have, which I'm sure you're leaving in the comments right now, now you can choose the map and we have a lot of really cool options. Like look at this, King of the Hill, defend the castle, castle with archer towers. There's a grand arena for some like gladiatorial fights, low ground. Oh man, where's Anakin when you need him? But the cool thing about this is they're introducing a campaign called simulation where we get to play through all of them and i'm thinking that's the best way to introduce ourselves to these maps so the first one's called the bridge battle oh my god this is gonna be chaos so i've been looking forward to these maps for so long because you can all you can already imagine what kind of shenanigans we can get up to like what happens when horses fall off the side they do have a few balloon archers in the back all right i know exactly what to do put other units in front of them so quick timeout. i've got a contest running it's uh steam gift codes but there's gonna be five winners two are gonna get 25 dollars steam gift codes and three are gonna get 10 so if you guys wanted to buy tabs or something like that you could do that or if you already have tabs you get something else so more info just follow the link in the description i'm gonna have a samurai giant hold the bridge <laughs> and then how about just a couple muskets i hope they can fire and they don't just walk off the cliff <laughs> maybe not i just lost two units to uh my own placement errors but i still think we win this one as the same as long as the samurai giant doesn't fall off which he did okay so needless to say it's it's not working out the best so far but if our musket balls can you know penetrate a number of these guys which oh that that one wasn't too bad yeah we're gonna lose this is bad oh my god but i love this like look at this a narrow corridor which to hold our enemies off huh all right i'm curious if flying units like if they're not over ground if they will fall i think that's how it works so we just <laughs> lost one already to just plummeting but the other one's down here and you know he's distracting the enemy forces what it just happened a knight just takes out an entire army of hoplites i think we need some help here with the new unit well 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 what do we have here that looks like the cupid's bow all right that map is so hard we need the cupid so the cupid's 500 dollars. and what does he do makes the enemy units love themselves <laughs> love yourselves all right cupids this is your first introduction now that we've got them all right oh wow those are some pretty good bows okay so the units are what they're loving on each other oh this is great the chuko news or crossbow bolts are repeating and firing in so that's pretty good some of the cupids just got oh god we just turned the horse into a tornado that flew off the bridge. I think we have a chance here. If the Cupids can turn their attention, they're not really like as aggressive. Oh Lord. Oh no. Oh no. I, I think we do still have a chance. Just maybe not a good one. They don't really fly around so much as they kind of hover, but I don't think, no, they can still die by flying up in the air. Come on, Chuko News. You've got to win us this battle. That's, that's not enough. That's not enough, but, oh! You hear that? The little bow, chicka, wow, wow music. Come on, baby. Yes. All right. See, look at that. When you have a problem, who are you going to call? The Cupid. He'll get us through the first challenging map. Oh, my Lord. This one is called the Row. And it's similar to the other one, except it's got like, uh, you know, railings, so to speak. So they've got a bunch of hobbits. They got a bunch of samurai. And then they've got muskets at the back. Hmm. That's dangerous. I'm thinking a ballista. Look at it. They're lined up. They want it. They want to die this way. Ballista. You may fire when ready. All right, ballista. You've got to destroy that entire line of hobbits. I guess we didn't really align it properly. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right. We almost got all the hobbits. And it looks like we knocked over a samurai. That's about it. I'm not entirely sure if the ballista was very good. Oh, and I just realized that samurais are very, very effective at blocking <laughs> musket balls. So my strategy is pretty terrible. All right, maybe if I take command here and stop getting wrecked by my own teammates, get out of the way, you idiots. <laughs> All right, we took a little rare musket ball hit. Taking out some of their musketeers though. So I'm targeting their musketeers while my guys are dealing with the samurai. <laughs> I love this, it's like bowling, but you're firing a cannon. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Sir, 
This rock is meant for your face. <laughs> so if you have Instagram and you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes, special events, and other videos, you can check me out at Baron Von Games. <laughs> oh my god, so this one's called The Maze. They've got ninjas, they've got these dudes. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see, just, you know, we gotta know if the Cupids can just do it. If our guys can fly above the map, let's see, do they fall down and can they climb back up? These, these uh, kind of maze-like... Oh, this one. This map's crazy. You almost have to watch it in a bird's eye view, which is probably something that you wouldn't normally play tabs in. You wouldn't normally play it like a top-down 2D RTS game. But this map kind of requires you to do it. And ninjas are really good at exterminating cupids. There's a lot of guys loving on each other, but there's just not enough death. <laughs> there's too much love in the air. All right, we put the expensive units at the front, which we'll see if that works out. The bombardiers are definitely doing pretty good clearing out some of these hallways. So let's hope the bombs keep flowing and pushing the enemy units back. But those executioners are really, really effective since they swing like top to bottom instead of like left to right. Their weapons don't get caught in these hallways like a lot of my units do. All right, I mean, this is what, attempt number something. Ooh, let's do a few vampires and the reaper. Why not? And then we'll get a few cheap renaissance painters. And hopefully the vampires distract them enough for the reaper to move in and just start destroying everybody. Come on, reaper. His, his scythe is getting caught. Oh, oh God, that was a terrible strategy. This is the hardest campaign there is, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna snipe from up here and hope they can't hit me. Uh, my reload rate is a little bit slow, but don't worry. I can't tell if I hit them or not. It doesn't look like we're winning. We just see bodies flying out of these corridors. Oh no, this is bad. Come on, come get some. Are we winning? Oh God, everyone's dead, isn't they? They're all dead. It's just me left. And I can't aim down. Ah. If only we had a bomb. Oh. He can aim down. You can't as a player, but he can. Oh my god, all we had to do was put one guy up here and then have them all just bunch down there like idiots instead of aim their guns up. <laughs> Fire in a hole! Did that hit him? Are they just holding dead bodies up? Yes, they are. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I love this. Got one. It's just like a conga party of death. They all just like, we're like, hey, why don't we just do group Sudoku, you know? Like, let's just end it. Oh, snap, he's throwing shuriken. The ninja threw one. I think we sh- No, we didn't shoot him. Oh! Did we just get a few? Don't walk off that cliff, son. If you do, it's most certainly doom and destruction. Yes, the ninja's dead. I think that's our last greatest threat. Now there are two of them. There's literally only one left. If this guy shoots my guy, I'm gonna be so mad about it. But I think Destiny is finally, finally on my side. Oh my god. Hardest campaign ever. Okay, monks, grappling hooks, and muskets. Gentlemen, cavalry charge. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I just wanna try it out. Raptor charges! Oh, I just realized we put them in the center, so they're gonna be rushing to the outside. So a lot of my guys are probably gonna run off the cliff. And then we got grapples. Catapults would be pretty effective, I think. Muskets can't shoot through. Yeah, so the raptors are just, it's like we're sending a wave, right? We're the Persian guy in the movie 300. King Xerxes, we're like, oh, we'll send in the like, the stupid units that everyone doesn't like and they're really bad fighting to, you know, probe the enemy defenses. All right, wave one, it, did, it was a disaster, but we learned some things. These guys are a bunch of monks, right? Of course. All right, so I'm thinking I need something to fire over this cliff. And I think in order to do that, we're gonna need a catapult in the back. I think he'll be able to do that. And then I'm thinking we get musketeers of our own. Maybe some balloon archers here. And then, you know, why, why, why not some regular archers too? And it's all range. So if any of these monks get into our lines, but look at this, I mean, you cross this hill. Okay, so imagine you're one of these soldiers like, oh, I wonder what's over this hill. Let's find out, do, 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 do. I like cheeseburgers and then, oh, you're dead, son. Cause that's what we got going on right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's keep firing those catapults, boys. Archers are doing their thing. I'm not sure how strong. Oh, they're pretty strong. Oh, the the harpooners! Shoot the har shoot the harpooners! I'm gonna have to be one of these guys. Oh no! All the muskets are charging over. This is bad. This is not working out as intended. Oh, a hawacha could work though, wouldn't it? 
Uh, <laughs> that guy took a musket ball, and then I died to one. Okay, hawachas. All hawachas all the time. Hawacha, it's your turn. Please just barely crest this. Oh my god, that's that's darn near perfect. And just spear them all in a row. So many headshots. That was brilliant. This one didn't seem to work because he's like, oh, I don't need to. I need to move a little bit closer to fire. Maybe, maybe there's this whole idea that you, that you don't and you shouldn't. So I'm actually gonna take you down here and fire this. Someone get that harpooner. Get that harpooner, boys. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, the muskets are coming. The muskets are coming. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, I think I overshot. I got two of them. Well, we didn't try the Cupid's only. So Cupid's only it is. La -de -dee -de -da. Everybody love each other. Love is in the air. Oh, this guy harpooned backwards. He's so in love, he's harpooning backwards. Although they are harpooning some of us, it's kind of difficult. Now the musketeers are coming though. Wait, I, it's hard to tell what's going on. If there was a Cupid Hawacha, I think that might be the coolest unit. Because right now, old Cupid McCupid face, he's wearing a diaper. All right, so here's the thing. You got a grown man in a diaper firing heart arrows that make people love each other. You're like, I think this is illegal. I know what we need to do. <gasps> Finally. Sensei, you will defend us. And then a few ninjas and some samurais and some firework archers. All right, Sensei, as long as you don't go over the top here and get sniped or get grappled, Shuriken downrange, boys. Look at this. I'm sniping with Shuriken. Oh, I got shot. No. Ah, it's so frustrating. We're going to have to come back to this. We're going to do a little bit of our own. I want to create some castle sieges. Castle. Defend the castle looks awesome. Oh, my God. It's an actual castle. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> All right, so it's going to be the medieval army defending the castle. Lots of archers. Where's the king going to be? The king's over here in his seat of power, guarded by his two trusty knights and his priest who whispers sweet nothings in his ears. And then he's got an army of squires. And who's going to be attacking him? Well, the Triple Alliance, of course. All right, so we've got the Vikings, the Farmers, and the Dynasty all invading the medieval faction here. So the castle's pretty dope. I, I just cannot imagine. I cannot wait to see all of the crazy custom battles that you guys are coming up with, given all of these new maps. So what I love, one of the things that I think is awesome is the archers are just chilling up there like taking their pot shots down at the enemies here. Now the samurais are still able to block a lot of these shots and the king is out here fighting. He just turned into, the, he just changed into the shadow realm or something, man. I think it's when you get icedy, when you get iced and you get healed at the same time. Look at that, oh, he came back to life just long enough to die. All right, so let's see. How do they pick off these archers? Well, one just jumps down and the other one gets frozen as he takes arrows to the calves in knees all right so the castle map is glorious so if we go to a different one broken bridge actually looks really really cool i kind of want to have like a stunt i want to see if this works oh i wanted them to like hit this like a ramp right instead almost everybody falls off okay that didn't work so we'll go to the renaissance faction we'll get a few jousters i mean uh, this is called extreme jousting come on guys somebody jump this gap okay nobody wants to jump the gap but a lot of them actually survived uh, the red one's I was gonna say there might be a little smarter than the blues, but it looks like blue's gonna win. Yeah, wow, okay. So this map is dope. So if we just, what, put tons of archers, will they walk to the edges here and have like an archery battle? And over here, we're gonna have um, fireworks. Fireworks, I love fireworks. Walk to the edges and fire. No, some of them are still undecided about where to go. You have to put them on the edges here. Okay, all right. So look at this, you get to see battles on two levels here. A bunch of fireworks versus a bunch of regular ones, and then you've got the guys with the staffs down below, and then the archers decide to turn around. For whatever reason, they're pathfinding. Maybe the pathfinding could use a little bit of an, oh, that guy just fell from the top all the way down. Oh, man. And there's one bow staff guy just chilling there, just broing up. Okay. So, oh my god, that archer, those, oh my god, that's incredible. Oh, look at these guys taking sniping shots. Are they, get, are they gonna be able to hit that guy? Oh, that was so close. Fire! Uh, he's just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, they've got pretty good range here. <laughs> oh my god, fireworks on these crazy simulation maps are amazing. 
All right, so it looks like Dynasty's gonna run away with that one. All right, so then we've done defend the castle. What about King of the Hill? This one's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so what we can do here is just change it to a circle and have blue on the inside here and let's have them be oh man this is gonna be like a siege musketeers on the ramparts they're gonna be sniping units as they walk in here and then i'm thinking what they need this is gonna be an actual proper siege right so we're gonna have cannons facing down out of like the the holes here and we'll have the pirate captain you know what he's the pirate he, he sees this fortress and then like all right he needs some pirate units now Yar, some flintlock boys. All guns all the time. And then, you know what? They're gonna be fighting the savages that surround them. So look at this. We've got four corners. We've got a bunch of, it's basically the future technology versus the past. We've got, this one is a pretty nice little grouping. I think that what they need is a few more ranged units. Now, I'm actually kind of curious to see how this works. So it's gonna be kind of tricky to get the optimal shot. I think this is it. The cannons and the musketeers are just taking their shots. I'm wondering how many people are gonna be able to get up these ramps, or if any, like there's a mammoth, there's a war mammoth. Some of the pirate units with the twin pistols are charging down. The musketeers are holding to the ramparts and they're continuing to fire down. Dude, they are absolutely wrecking them. This is how hard it is to charge a fortress, right? And then there's the Pirate King out there, or Blackbeard. I think yeah, I think it's the Pirate King, right? Oh, he, he got slain by a, a, ram, or a random spear. Okay, so the tribal faction wasn't able to take the hill. The castle has been held. Look at that. So now it's the medieval team's turn, and they're gonna bring siege equipment. All right, so the red team has $30,000. The blue's only using 16,000. So it's almost double. And you can see that we've got knights down there. We've got squires. We've got the king over there. And then we've got a bunch of archers. A lot of the catapults were already taken out. And by a lot of them, I mean one of them. But I'm actually kind of surprised to see that. So, oh, dude, the catapult sieging the fortress looks awesome. I think there's only two catapults left. I'm surprised we don't have a catapult that fires hobbits yet. I'm surprised there's not a mod for that. Oh, God, look at this. Okay, so they've breached the gates. They've stormed in. The king's in here, too. Dude, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for the defenders. They're getting overrun. They're getting overwhelmed. And they are being defeated. All right, that is awesome. Okay, so they were, you know, they took it. So now, I guess we could play King of the Hill, right? Where the medieval faction has to hold it. And the medieval's always getting attacked by the Vikings. And the Vikings always attack by the sea, so they're bringing their boats. They don't really have any siege equipment per se, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. There are a few berserkers over here, so if any of them are able to survive and jump up here, they could prove to be at least distractionary, right? Maybe mess up, oh God. The boats, I think, just wreck themselves. Okay, look at this. Look how far this boat's getting. <laughs> so many units just launched off. I don't, I don't think they're very effective. Vikings may not be very good, at frontally attacking a giant fortress. But you know who I think might be? Is the dynasty faction. Oh god, look at that. The Jarl? The Jarl just got sent to the to the death pit, man. And there's what, a few guys left? Who's left alive? Oh, there's a few frosty boys down here, and they just got sniped. This guy took an arrow to the neck! All right, all right. So that, that attack did not go very well. The Vikings are not equipped for sieges. But the dynasty with their Hawatches? Now, the Dynasty faction has a lot of money in here, but not as many units. Look at this. They're using three dragons. I'm kind of curious if any of these dragons are going to get in. Ooh, that catapult's going to destroy one of them and actually create a block. So let's see. Dude, look at this. The dragon is firing. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. If he can burn that catapult. Oh, the king decided to come down and fight this way. All three siege dragons are destroyed. Let's see, how many Hawatches are still firing the Hawatches? That looks like uh, quite a bit of friendly fire there, Billy Bucko. The ninjas are trying to get in here, and look at this. This guy's like, I think I'm dead. <laughs> He's definitely dead. <laughs> and the Hawatches don't have the range. So I guess the only one that could probably usurp them is like, oh man, King of the Hill mode is going to be fun. All right, so we've done that. We can come back to it. What other one? So let's see, what's... Oh, defend the tower? What? In moat? High ground? Tiered castle? Double battle? This is amazing. 
Oh god, it's it's beautiful. Hawatches. You gotta defend against the Mongol hordes. I guess we shouldn't put you up there. We're gonna have a Roman Testudo. Char led by a Minotaur. And they're gonna be led by the Shogun. The Shogun himself. Flanked by two Lady Red Jades. 20,000 versus 10,000. Okay, these guys need a little bit of an up. Take. We're gonna have some siege ballistas. Not that they're gonna do anything. <laughs> and they're gonna be led by Zeus. But this is all just to see the absolute chaos that's gonna be all of these firework arrows coming down on this Testudo formation. So the Minotaur did his job, but look at that. This is what it's looking like to attack down here. Oh, and the Ballistas are doing pretty good. All those fireworks just took down half this incoming army. This is just not good. The Dynasty could hold this for days and days, although... Oh, that's a little bit of friendly fire. Ballista hit. If Zeus can get in here and fires lightning bolts. Oh, Lady Red Jade. One of the Lady Red Jades just got pushed off the cliff. The other one just fell off the cliff. There's actually a chance. It's not a very good one. But yeah, it's definitely not because one of these guys is going to snipe off Zeus with a firework arrow. There we go. Almost on cue. <laughs> Look at how Zeus looks like he's just freaking out, man. Like he just sat in a bunch of bees or something <laughs> come on zeusy boy i don't know where the shogun is where is gandalf where's shogun did he shogun must have died guys i think shogun died and there's so many units just buried down here all right get up and charge the gates whoa the ballista just sniped him look at this one of the watch has been pushed back bunch of my firework arrows all right so that makes sense that's why we don't have overwhelming victory by them yet. Zeus stormed the castle and he's gonna take it. All right, I will become Zeus. Oh, shoot. I can't hit that guy. There we go. That hit him. Okay, <laughs> as I go uh, ring around the rosy here. Storming the castle. Just gotta destroy that. All right, I can only see his little feet. I hope I don't... Oh! <laughs> no! Okay, we're still alive, though. Barely. Let's see if we can't sneak around here. I can't tell who's alive anymore. As I trip on this... Look, what, what am I doing? Excuse me, Tabs. I just tripped and fell and, like, derped out. I almost took the castle. I think there's like one or two units left alive somewhere, but I trip. Okay, Zeus. Zeus knows where to go, I guess. Is there a dude up here? <gasps> there is a Hawacha. Okay, we we're gonna get sweet, sweet victory. Oh my god, I love it. All right, so, I mean, we could try for the funsies a bunch of cupids to round this out. The cupids must siege the castle. They are the new secret unit after all. Let's do this, boys. Just all cupids all the time over here. You know what? They're gonna be all over the place, man. This is like, this is like Attack of the Little Flying Monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Dun dun, da -da -dun, -dun, da -da -dun, da dun 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 Look at this. I love it. Oh my god, there's so many, there's so many heart arrows. These guys are just rushing in. It's just a bonsai charge heart units yeah what are you gonna do look at this I, I don't know what happened pathfinding pathfinding happened that's what happened all right boys come on fight the good fight lead the charge oh dude cupids are just overrunning this look at this Imagine like Hawacha Cupids and Chuko New Cupids and I don't know maybe even Musketeer Cupids But I think it's safe to say that the Cupids have stormed the gates and they will win ladies and gentlemen We are in totally accurate battle simulator 0.9.0 We've got 21 simulation maps the hardest campaign I can ever think of that we've ever had and we've got the new secret unit the Cupid They're playing their jazzy little music out there So give the video some hearts of your own and you know what I'll see you guys in the next one leave your custom some battles in the comments below. Bye-bye.